Um, so I'm Suzanne Kendrick and I'm the Chair of the Growing Women 2030 Trust and uh, we've been going now for five years and um, I'm a local Greater person and we have um, had a lot of um, different projects that we've got off the ground and now looking back five years later it's like, yeah, we've actually done quite a bit. So how did we do it in Greater? The, the first book talks about the 12 steps, which I always found funny because it's like Alcoholics Anonymous, but anyway. Um, and this, you know, the great unleashing and all these big things that actually sound like the energy descent action plan. We read all that, but you know, it's, it sounds pretty, pretty full on. But, and we didn't do either of those things, actually. <laughs> what we did do is um, we connected with some existing groups, we did some practical projects. We did a lot of awareness raising learning, we did film nights, we had a, a series of speakers one a month on different topics. Um, so the book and the Transition Town book was there, but we didn't go through it one, two, three, four, five. But when I look back, we actually did do quite a lot of it. We, but, we, did a but we did a steering group, we used the structure of the steering group, and then how we are organised now is we are a trust, but we have representative of the trust, other people that are running different parts of the. Um, you know, the groups that we now have. So we, we used the structure, but we didn't follow it to the letter. And that's what well, I think is a really good idea because it turns, depends on who shows up in your group. And if you've got someone that's passionate about a farmer's market, well, hey, do a farmer's market, you know, someone, I mean, Lynn Green, who's passionate about waste. So we were able to get really going on waste quickly. We tried to do a water stream group, but couldn't, couldn't really get it off the ground. So we tried, we have had lots of failures, by the way. Lots of groups have started and gone nowhere. <coughs> But if you have a person with enthusiasm, my view is you need three people when you can make a really big difference. One person who's got the vision and two of you working on it, you can do that. <laughs> you know, it's about harnessing who you know and, and now it's quite easy for us to start <coughs> um, groups because my personal ability was um, I do online digital marketing. So I quickly got us a website, Brain 2030, used Facebook, uh, particularly a little bit of Twitter, but that wouldn't work so well. Um, and that's been the real core in email marketing. So that was what I brought to the group that um, was, I think, pretty helpful because a lot of people in this community are online. It might not work for every community, but it really was good for us. Um, but you, you just might not have that skill set. Just to you know, work with who you have and what, what they do. Um, so, you know, we've ticked quite a few of these boxes, actually, as it turns out. Yeah. But, but, but the other thing I want to note is that we've done all this with no active funding source. We've never had anyone behind us funding us. Okay, community garden we did behind um, the Gypsy Tea Room. Someone just noticed a yucky, oily piece of land that people were parking on. One of our members was the, a neighbour on the other side, and she's a brilliant landscape architect and gardener, and she managed to get this going, and it's a, one of our groups is a community garden. Um, we had our Christmas party there, which is good. Um, here's our long, <laughs> our long vision, which you can you can find there. Um, the biggest two things I think we've done, and they've now become incorporated societies in their own right, is we have a farmers market. So it came out of the our group, and then it went on to form an incorporated society, and it's the Grayland Farmers Market. Um, it's fantastic. Every Sunday, we love it. Um, the latest thing um, we've done is the car boot market, which was. Um, we were really into reuse, obviously, and we also needed we needed funding. And I was thinking of a way we could do something that would mean we would get some income. And we've now got this great relationship with our local RSA, where we use their car park and we charge twenty dollars. People come along and sell their stuff. Like the Waste Away group did this amazing recycling thing in the um, town in the car park of the local supermarket of um, e-waste that they organise. They're always doing things. They're always going to the local events and saying, could you do this a better way? They're fabulous sort of local advisors. Green screen was really easy. We just um, used the community centre, $2. We found some interesting DVDs. Sometimes we downloaded them, showed them in the local hall. And that's, we did a lot of that in the beginning, which was in the sort of awareness raising. Um, a new group's come out that we've just started. It's called Glue, which was good. Greyland Urban Environment. Energy group, Chris is here from our energy group. We've done fabulous street parties in our local shops. Here's our meetings we do, our farmers market, our street parties, business association. This is the waste the, at the Greyland um, Festival. Here's the garden when it looked terrible. <laughs> Looks good now. Um, here's our, our green screens. Oh, the choir, the lovely choir. Fabulous guy moved into the area. He's a singer. I thought, jeepers, I'm not going to let him sit around. Let's get him and do a choir. And so now we've got a choir. It's fun. 
So fun things are good. Fun things are good.